Hi, I'm Naomi from WP Tofu. In this video, I'll show you how to let users select their favorite posts and send them with an email. Let's get started. First, you need Jet Engine and Jet Form Builder. You can use Elementor as well, but in this tutorial, I'm going to use Gutenberg. Now, we need to enable Data Stores feature. The Data Stores feature let users store data on your website. To do that, go to Jet Engine, then Data Stores, click this, and save. Now, this feature is enabled. You see data stores here now, so click this, and new store, click it, then name. Since I'm going to create the list of your favorite books, so I'm going to write favorites, and slug favorites, and store type, choose user metadata. This is where we want to store the data and also get the data from. Okay, then save. We are looking at the database now, but please don't worry. I'm just showing you the information and how this adding data stores change the database. So since we choose the user meta, and this is the user meta table, you see here, je underscore data underscore store underscore favorites. And the favorites is the slug that we added. And we are going to use this uh, field name, and I already copied that on the notepad, so please don't worry. Let's get back to the WordPress dashboard. As already some of you know, Jet Engine has a feature to create custom post type. So Jet Engine post types, and I created a new post type called book, and I populated these books here, and books have title and the feature image that's it and now i would like to create a list view of these books to create a listing view of these books first you have to create a listing item using jet engine so go to jet engine and click listings then add new listing source post from post type, choose book. Listing item name, you can put whatever you want. Book, list item. And here, listing view, blocks, Gutenberg. I don't have Elementor installed, so Elementor is not showing up. But if you have it installed, you can see it here. And click create listing item. Now, let's add the featured image of a book. Click this plus button and find dynamic image. So click this. Already this post thumbnail, basically the featured image is inserted here. Then click dynamic field. You see the title is already inserted here and title is coming from post object title. This settings, you can change it, but this is perfect. However, this is a little small, so Click H3 here. All right, so it's a little bit bigger. Now we are going to add a very important button. Again, press button, then find data store button and click this. And click source favorites. This is the data store we created. And it says auto to store here. Let's change the text, add it to favorites. Then here, uh, action after an item added to store. It says remove from store. So let's say remove from favorites. You'll see how it will work soon. I know it's a little bit confusing now. Now let's press update and go back to WordPress dashboard. Now, we are going to make a page with a list of books using this book list item. 
So go to new and press page. Let's name it book list. Then press plus button here and find listing grid. So this one, so press it. So it says please select listing to show. So listing, let's choose a book list item that we just created. This loads books with the book listing item. Let's make it hmm, maybe four. Okay. And here it says six since I have nine books, so I'm gonna make it nine. Okay, I think this is good for now. So publish it. Let's check out the page now. So click this. So there's a list of books and there's a button or the link says add to favorite. So click this. So now it says remove from favorites. So basically, as you saw in the database, now when you click this, it's added there. Now we are going to create a form that sends an email with the list of favorites the user selected. So how do we do that? Go to Jet Form Builder and add new. So this will create a form. So let's say book list form and delete these pre-filled fields. But we need a submit button, so let's leave this here. Now we are going to add a checkbox field. Press this plus button and checkbox field is here, so click it. Then the right side here, let's name it favorites books. More like a favorite books. Okay. Next, click this manual input and change it to post. And the post type, let's click book. So this checkbox list is populated with the list of books. Now we want to set this default value so that when user opens up this form, all those favorite books are checked already. So click this source user get user id from current user user field user meta that's where we put uh, this field je data store favorites this can be obtained by the database field or it's simply just je data store underscore and the slug of the data store name so press update Move this field up and let's publish it. It's not done yet, but let's see if this checkbox field is pre-selected with those books that user put into the favorite list. Okay, we are going to create a page that loads the form. So go to new page. I'll name it book list form page. Then press this plus button again and find, like you can type form and you see jet form here. So click this. Then please select a form to show. So book list form. All right. I know it's already selected, but you can publish it now and you can see it. So this is selected already. Now, if you go back to this book list that we created earlier, and let's check some random books and come back this page and refresh. So now it's selected, but unchecking this doesn't mean it removed from the favorites. So if you refresh, it comes back. Okay, we are back to this book list form. And now we want to add a functionality that we can send the list of those books. So first we need a text field. So text field, because we want to put an email address. So here, email. Okay. 
Next, we are going to set how the email gets sent and its content. So go to Jet Form, click this tab, and you see Post Submit Actions. And I assume you have send email here. If you don't, please select send email. And you click this button. This opens up the settings. And the mail to email from submitted form field. And select email. And here subject, this is my favorite, uh, these are. These are my favorite books. And what's important is content type. You can choose plain text or HTML. I'll choose HTML. And the contents here, I already have it prepared. This one. And this part is maybe not familiar to you. This is called a macro. If you go to this site here is a jet engine macro guide from Crocoblock. This site explains all different types of macro. So basically macros shows different type of data based on the field. This is the one I used. So post field and this part, post titles by IDs. So you can see I'm going to get post titles using this macro data here. So I'm gonna paste my contents here. So it says favorites, books, which is this checkbox field. And I'm putting this macro here. Update and update here again. If you refresh the book list form page, this is how it should look. I know it's not pretty, but here's an email field now. So you can put any email address. I put my email address here and press submit. So it says form successfully submitted. Now I got this email and you see there's a list of all the books that I selected. Lastly, I'd like to hide this checkbox field from this form. I mean, it can be useful, I think, but if a user can keep changing here, it might not be a good idea because it's not syncing with the actual favorite list. So I'll show you how to do that, but we need CSS. We need to add these three lines of CSS. And this data store, hidden F, this part actually doesn't really matter. This is, a, you can put whatever you like, but this display none part, this is important. Okay, so the best place to put it is probably this appearance and the customize. And go to additional CSS. And here you can paste it and publish it. Then make sure you copy this data store hidden F here. Well, whatever you put it here. Next, we need to change the structure of this little bit. So press here and press group. This, I know there's only one checkboxes, but making it a group let me change more things here. So now I'm selecting group. If you click this button, you see it. Now it's group and there's a checkbox field. In this group, you can go here and go to advance. And here is additional CSS class. So you can paste this data store hidden F here. Well, whatever the class you decided to use. Again, I'm using group just because I can wrap everything and put a class in here. Not really grouping anything. You can use column or some other way as well. Update. Come back to this page and refresh. See, now the list is gone, but still I can send email. I received the same email as last time, so it's really working. What did you think? Did you think it's a bit complicated? I think so. But if you can understand data store, 
and how to get the data out of it using a macro. This is very useful. Thank you for watching.